Welcome to another edition of Sound Chat. Irish and Chin. Interviewing some of the legends, King King Kingston, Jamaica, in the garrison. Strictly sound system culture, s -s -s sound system culture, living legend in the sound clash world. Original Joe Lickshot, Jimmy Metro, the owner of Metro Media. Man himself, Cutty Ranks. <laughs> Our journey to London, England has placed us in the company of such great contributors to the development of the culture and craft here as it relates to dancehall. Today I'm sitting next to a DJ, originally from the sound system called Saxon, Philip Levi. Many of us know him as Papa Levi. <laughs> Levi, what's good? Everything blessed. Now, we've heard so much about you over the years. When when did you start DJ? Um, from about the age of, um, how do I say, maybe 10, 11. 10, 11. Yeah. What inspired you to be a DJ at that time? Uh, the greats. You ride. Uh, I ride. Ja Prince Jasper. Uh, on the way up, man like uh, Prince Farai, Ras Michael and the Sons of Negus, even though we know says a Rastafari grow. Uh, the vibes with them sent off but I always make me want to write. So you were you were vibing and writing at the age of ten? Or you were it's, just vibing it, it, at that time? The vibe at them time there. When me, when when me, when, when me pick up pen and paper is about another two maybe maybe two, three years. Yeah, about 13, when we start right. What was the early stages of vibing? How would you vibe to those particular songs at that time? It's a thing where, from, as, as we all know, any, any, any man who chat mic, MC, rapper, whatever, from a beat move, yo, and your lyrics in your head, well, the next, uh, the, 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 the third step from that, I feel, put the verbal, your vice. So, it's like that thing, at the rhythm still, at the rhythm first with me. And really moved me, yeah. At that time, no sound systems. Were you listening to sound systems or were you just vibing for music from music, the radio? Music, music, music. Uh, only for the old time, uh, label them. Uh, my, my bigger brother them. And the mothers of them set. So when them go on one side, me go and go screeching and mess up the, the program <laughs> for them. And them. You know? But everything good, you know? Um, When do you... You say three years later, but what inspires you to put pen to paper? Me like for write. According to where people, some people will say them and say that um, Levi is a scribe. So we just like for write. It's therapy for me. You know I mean? It's a way to relieve the stress or whatever is on your it's, mind. It's not even a stress thing. It's like that thing where me not busy with a man agree with me I no agree with me from me can write and vice is like you know you make up your mind if you are uh, if, you, if you think it's something we agree with cool if it's not cool so your first actual lyrics was written at 13 years old me, um, at, the, at these times I would do like um, it wouldn't be like a three and a half minute word right. sitting it would be like you know like a segment and sitting in the bottom me, to, to me like right anywhere that's why me did right you dig where me mean so if it sound like it, it, it carny like but i mean i'm not tell you the truth it's called me did like for right <laughs> so me think think the lyric but that vibe all the part time like most like most dj do but me like for know when me i go say so it's from them time that me start to think say boy no make sense you chat and you don't know you go say kind of no so, so was it writing and also, you know, trying to have an extended vocabulary or was it just writing what you had in, in, in your mind? Sometimes we, sometime we're there in my mind and at other time it would be a thing where I well, may may uh, may read something or see something and I analyze it for myself. So I don't mean, need to talk to anybody about that. I can just go in our meds and... There. And then you compose whatever mm. it is that you're writing. Mm. At what point does someone stop you and say, "Boy, you're good at this thing. You need to pursue." Um, but I say, if if, it, if I go put a a, a date to it, I, I, I definitely when me the depth and set, 
early days set, but Saxon wasn't the first song we used to track band. What, what uh, was uh, the first uh, song? Prophecy. Prophecy was the first song we track band. And, bef and even before that, uh, a root song named Jaman was the actual first, first song we put my, my, um, How did you get it. the mic at Jaman? Because, um, not a bridge <laughs> Not that weird. But when they hear them, they like it still, so. So, so, so you finally get the mic in your hand. How old are you at that time? It, it, it must, must, must be about six, 16, 15, 15, 16. 15, so you 16. hold you hold the mic at the first time mm. for the first time. Mm. People like the energy, mm. and you decide to pursue in becoming a DJ. It, it, me like for chat. Me like me, me like for me like for chat lyrics. So most probably like how people are poet or sitting with that and the written word. So. The two things go hand in hand. Like me, I do it whether me have record or not. You dig what I mean? Me right, I've always read. Mm. How long did it take for you to become one of the leading artists in, in England? <laughs> Boy, I don't know, I know about that. <laughs> you see that question there, sir? When you say leading, Saxon, as in uh, most man, they will reach any, anywhere in you know, popularity and thing. There's been uh, a lot of help along the way and a lot of them help them get recognized you dig so we don't really put there was a group of man them who did a making roads mm -hmm. yeah, you know it wasn't just, just, it wasn't just yeah, yeah. yeah so even the thing about number one number one you know that you were never into being number one me, me, me about just do my thing you're just like doing your me. thing mm -hmm. how, how, but how long did it take mm -hmm. from you mm -hmm. holding that mic on mm -hmm. jamal to, to you being recognized as well, somebody where really I did them take. All right, all right, all right. Good question. <laughs> all right. The, 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 when we did Vice, my God, my king. Uh, we did, we did, we did then, uh, independent, uh, we did have an independent label. Me, Maxi Priest, and Paul for uh, Barry Boom, on Blood. And the label did, the label called Level Vibes. Anyway. When my vice got me king, and it do where it do, I think I then when pan, you know, the other level, underground, you know, man, them, right. you, you will know who and who are, say one, you know. And my god, my king comes after the sound system, right? The, yes, during yeah, that time, yeah. you were already DJing on sound systems. Yes, recording. man, yes, man, long time. Yeah, 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 my god, my king. Yeah. How did that change things for you as an artist that you had a record? I know you say you don't like to be the number one, but you had a number one record. Personally, me not thinking I know we are to hard. You, you didn't talk, change it at all. For, for, for me yeah, personally, for you personally, me not. No, no. It, in what way would you say change? In, well, were in, you in, were you started being more recognized for your craft? Oh yeah, in the sense of visibility. Yeah, visibility yes, yeah. man. In the sense of visibility. Yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. you, you started to be more recognized for mm. your craft. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Where do you start touring to? Mm. If you start touring, um, um, we go through Europe. America, um, New York mainly, New York, I never touch place and place and place, but um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, if you attack them from pan, 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 pan yeah. pan them levels, yeah, yeah. Would you say that M God McKing was the, so was the song that really gave you the, 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 the big exposure? From, 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 definitely from a yard aspect. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 Inter and international. But, you see the Saxon tape them, them go place where... Uh, vinyl no go according to information that we get right. back so uh, as in promo per can persistent and consistent promotion we have put put it down to the the, the, the tape the, so the cassettes helped as well the, the recordings about, of the live, we, the live dances we, 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 prior to even the well we did do a live dance f um, recorded by Greensleeve of, you know, like a live sound, sound, uh, sound thing where we are doing things. Right. And then record it and put it on vinyl. And, and, and sent it out to the yeah. world. Yes. Mm -hmm. who, who were some of the other artists with, that were coming up in England with you at the time? Um, uh, we have, we have Arsman, we have, um, boy, we have a good few of them, Jed. Um, I don't know if because Maccabi did have a doing thing and I to him did a Birmingham and thing. But we can't go tell you about the one that moved when me kind of thing. Yeah, See, for me. Yeah. You know, kind of sitting there. Yeah, Maccabi. Um, 
Pato Bantan. Um, obviously, there were some demanding from Saxon. Tipa. Tipa, Tipa Iri, Daddy Colonel, Maxi Priest. Sandy, Maxi Priest, Raja Rabin. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, you, you can go on and go what, on. What becomes your connection to Jamaica, if any? Do you start to go back and forth to Jamaica? Or was your career mm -hmm. always centered around the UK? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got some questions. Personally, me not, me not really say not real. No, no real foundation get set yourself so, and a reggae See. You have enough talk, but no real foundation. No. You dig? You know, man, you know, shot, you know, a lot of the man, you know, no vision. You know, see no long term thing. You know, swans, you know, grab and run, flee. You dig? And I didn't think they set no foundation. So, no. so when the youth them come, they know a present day. They like to teach his stride of them and they sit there. Nine times out of ten, they have to go to other people. Instead of the foundation they're supposed to set. Because I don't know if no people love music like black people. So I don't, I don't understand how they know. So, no. right. so anyway, you know, pan, 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 pan. That level is like that thing where I don't really see that. Like, when we say America, I don't see that. Which, but, is, but, which was what? Which is what? In, in a decent, well, number one, back your own thing. Invest in your own, yeah, invest in your own stuff. Invest in your own thing, and even if my boy think over there, so you think better than yours. You have a till telling to mine, mine, mine is as good or better than yours. You dig? And, and the truth of what me talk is, all man like soul to soul. Jazzy, J uh, Jazzy B, them call him. Um, him was a sound system like we. They are doing things, doing things, doing things. You have to go to America. And when they recognize him, they so, soul to soul. You know? Mm -hmm. And then they realize, yeah, bro, are you so? You dig what I mean? Yeah. So it, was, it, so it was hard for you guys then coming but, up? That, don't you have them have a policy for, 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 for you, you have to be a certain, certain kind of. So let me ask man. you this then, Levi. Right. Mm. If you had your talent and mm. craft and you were in Jamaica on one of the bigger sound systems in Jamaica, do you mm. think that it probably would have worked out different for you? Or if you were in New York on another sound system, what would you think? Me, me can't predict future and, and you know, sit, but I definitely think if Saxon is there, definitely if it did, if it did there Jamaica or America. Me think if, if we did there America, we would have come in like all a Wu-Tang Clan or something like that. As a group, I because people, you had the talent. Thing. The talent you, was there. You see, you said a word. You said you said the wrong word. Had the still have the talent. <laughs> yeah, 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 me, yeah. Me know what you said, but is 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 a thing where um a lot of the inroads, the, a lot of the a lot of the outlets, yeah, so the gatekeeper them. Now what the, 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 nah. now you get me? Get and it, no matter how good the individual or the group or the sitting there is. You dig? Well, what, what do you think they never come? The grind boy them with all um, my boy um, Harvey and them boy them. Uh, can't remember the name, man. Anyway, when them come, same like how we would have come, like street, you know, come from street, set up them thing and popularity bill and sitting there. But, you know, same kind of thing, the, the, the outlet them down here. So, so there's a hold back in your yes, opinion? There's a, yes, there's a hold yes. back. Anybody, then, then my girl, Estelle, said the same thing. We see her in an interview and a truth. You dig what I mean? A direct hold back, you know, the sense of, you know, you have to be a certain kind of man down here. So. Everybody watch sound chat from Irish and Chin. It's an international thing.